Who are you? This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you doing? All is well. I've been doing some self care this week. My body had been real um, stiff, like my muscles, and just waking up feeling really sore. I don't know what that was, but I pulled back on some things and I feel better. So take care of yourself now. Who are you? Before I get started, hit like and please hit subscribe. Thank you, everybody. Are you who they say you are? Are you who others label you? Are you the stereotypes of the world that they put on? All of us, all races, different gender, the two genders, the genders. Oh, God, don't let me go there. <laughs> Who are you? One thing you have to remember is you are who you believe you are. It's very unfortunate that I hear that some teachers, parents, family members tell kids, you'll never amount to anything. You're never going to graduate. I even see on social media where people will say this athlete would never be in the Hall of Fame. He would never be this. She would never be that. Who are you? Are you what people label you? Will you let people allow you to be stopped? Each and every day we can discipline ourselves to be better people. Rome wasn't built overnight. It doesn't matter who the athlete is. He or she can go from being a subpar rookie player to a six-time champion like Michael Jordan. Not saying he was ever subpar. <laughs> he did get cut from his what high school team, I do believe. I'm just saying. We have to strengthen our mindset to not fall for the okie doke. I hear now, oh, she's an older woman. She's washed up. Her better years are behind her. Who are you? Are you going to believe that? So is that true? As women age, they become devalued. But as men age, they still hold a value. Who are you? You better believe without a shadow of a doubt my saying that you are who you think you are because life will try to intimidate you. People's insecurities. Do I need to say that again? People's stuff, their insecurities will try to tear you down. Hurt people hurt people. Very secure and strong people, they don't tear others down. Actually, they don't even look at others like that because they're too busy bettering themselves, too busy uplifting someone else. Insecurities come out when others are around people who are behaving, have, move, groove in a manner they wish they could. Some will say, oh, you're so strong. You got through cancer twice. I don't know how you did it. I don't believe in that. I believe that when your back is up against the wall, you dig deep from your toenails all the way to the root of the top of your head. If you want to live, you will fight to live. I always say a mom or a dad, even animals, will fight like hell to save their baby, to save the cub. So all of us have that innate ability to be super strong nobody has to outdo the other person because we all got it in us you see athletes from the special olympics with disabilities go out there and crush it so who is who but the question is who are you 
Never let somebody tear you down. Never let somebody stop your shine, your grind. You got to know in your mind, without a shadow of a doubt again, who you are. They're going to try it. They're going to try to tear you down. Again, that's an insecure person who is not happy inside. Your energy may be too much for somebody. Your positivity may be too much for somebody. Your eye being a little larger than the other eye may be too much for somebody. Your hair is long. Your hair is short. Your hair is curly. You're too light. You're too dark. You're too tall. You're too small. You're too smart. Whatever your thing is, we don't know. You'll be shocked how people can treat others because of their own stuff. All of us are responsible to do the work on ourselves. Your work may look different than my work. I'm not always referring to therapy because there are people who don't want to go. They feel they don't need it. But we know who needs what as we move throughout the world. Mental illness has started to rise to the top and we see things. But who are you? What work do you need to do to get to where you're trying to go? It should be a growth mindset. You shouldn't go talk to your friends from 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and they're still in the same spot. Growth mindset, forward motion, upward climb. As I close, I pose the question to you. Who are you? You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You're magical. You're intelligent. You're empowered. You are a great being. Own it. Rock it. Walk it out. Believe it. Receive it. Tammy C. Walker, signing off.